Okay, there's something I probably want to clear up, or I do want to clear up straight away before we start. So I said this was an underground only world last time, and then I went up to the surface, and there were a couple of people who were like, you know what, you said this was an underground only world, and you went up to the surface within like five minutes. What, what the fuck's that about? And I should have been more clear. So yeah, well, it is going to be an underground only world. I am going to spend like the majority of this series underground. I am going to go up to the surface to grab resources. However, you know what, on consideration, on, you know, thinking about things, maybe I should put a restriction on going up there. So I'm thinking maybe I should only be allowed to go up there at night which is going to be a massive pain because there's going to be mobs everywhere so i think that's going to be the condition and not only that but i can only go up there like 10 minecraft days apart from one another so say if i go up on what day is it today 15 so if i went up at the night of day 15 then and i came back down then i wouldn't be able to go up until the night of day 25 you know and so forth or the day of third night of 35 and night of 45 night of 55 that's if i left it like specifically 10 days i might leave it longer than 10 days but i think that's going to be the idea for the time being is i will put on a restriction for going up to the surface i think that's a bit fairer however there is something i do want to ask you guys is whether or not what we're going to do about the nether in the end because when i when i'm considering about the nether is i should just be allowed to go in the nether like normal because as far as i'm concerned it's underneath a bedrock ceiling right because it's supposed to be the underworld so the underworld is like i guess theoretically like under the underground because it's like the deep dark of like i don't know life of the universe it is supposed to represent hell right so that is as deep as you can possibly possibly go as far as I'm concerned so for me I feel like the nether I should just be allowed to go into the nether and come back out but my overworld is obviously underground however when it comes to the end I'm a bit hmm, I'm a bit more unsure because there are a lot of different things you could do I could just say yeah I I can't go to the end at all but I want to get like the elytra and shulker boxes because I just think it's going to be a better playthrough for me I just think it's going to be more fun and I'm going to be more likely to stick to it but then should I just be allowed to roam the end like normal because that is kind of overworld or maybe again I should just put a restriction on going to the end like maybe I can only go to the end every x amount of days I don't know like 30 days every or something like that or I've got to pay like some sort of tribute like a diamond block to go into the end and I'll, I'll have to put it somewhere like on I don't know I have to build some sort of altar or something where I I put diamond blocks onto and that's how I pay to go to the end or maybe I have to go underground in the end but that's going to be an absolute pain because how am I going to get from island to island so that's going to be sort of impossible in a way mm. so I'm a bit unsure about when it comes to the end the nether I, I think I have got figured out unless if you guys have got any other suggestions but yeah for this episode I don't know what I'm going to do we're just going to see what we feel like I do want to put these villagers into their own place probably out here I'm probably going to make like their own chamber and then from there I guess we we will where's the middle this looks about the middle from there i will probably well not just probably i will be making uh, i will be putting beds into them and then i will be yeah i think i think we'll have a wall in between i will be having them in here they'll be making babies and i will breed their populace up massively and then from there i can start taking them out and taking them over to like a trade hall section which will probably be on the other end of the this area which is what i was saying last episode that's for this style of video and i just want to say about the commentary in general because it's, there have been a few people have been like like what's going on with why did you do commentary last video well the last two no not the last two videos because i did day one of the underground the last two videos before that video i did two like completely random videos or almost like react videos and people for the most part were positive but for a lot of not for a lot of part because most people was positive but there were some people like what are you doing why are you doing react videos now like is this what this channel is about and it's not but i was just trying to experiment because the thing is with the big videos like the 100 days series or the hardcore series that i've been doing it takes a lot of work like the videos take a month to a month and a half and sometimes even two months to make a video like two months to make a video are you serious are you kidding me that's like it's good because i like the finished product i'm always happy with the result and people for the most part enjoy them and that's what i like to see because youtube isn't my job it's just something i do on the side there's a, I have a creative outlet but sometimes putting in so much effort just to put in like a video every month and a half is kind of I kind of get burnt out from it I'll be honest it's like energy sapping because they just take up so much time and I think you know what I just want to sometimes I just want to chill and put out more regular content so I was just experimenting and I thought well maybe I can just have Minecraft Minecraft videos but just talk about like commentary episodes just talk about something like just random that I just find on reddit or something and then those two videos came out and I thought you know what maybe I can just do a Minecraft series where I just put out more regular content in between the larger episodes and just ramble on just talk just chill and I don't have to worry about 
the views or pleasing people or anything like that i just i can just play be more laid back and relax and just like oh, fuck it who cares what i do who cares if an episode just consists of digging out a, <laughs> digging out a room and that's it to put villagers into who who cares at the end of the day and so that's what these episodes are sort of going to be about just more regular content where i could just chat and chill and if anyone wants to watch and enjoy them then yeah that's cool i think that's this that's yeah i like to see it so that's the reason why i'm i'm doing it okay so we've got you can sort it i'm gonna have a double door here take them through maybe i should heighten this so they can actually get through as well i don't know we have a double door system here and then this is whole part of the room here i haven't actually mapped it out let me see there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten seven and twelve thirteen 14, 15, 16, 17, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so 20 blocks in one direction, and then I'll probably do 20 blocks in the other direction, and I can already see I'm probably going to regret this, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I just saw some gold there. I haven't picked up any gold yet, but I have been seeing gold. Wait, that wasn't... There it is. I knew there was gold. 18, 19, 20. 18, 19, 20. There we go. I'm thinking about raising uh, the entire world, like the underground world, by one block. Because I'm at negative 60 at the moment. As you can see, there are bedrock coming into play. But if I want to do custom flooring, if I go to 59, where bedrock isn't spawning in or generating, that might be better for making like a complete custom floor. But at the same time, I do kind of like the bedrock. I can just put a step in somewhere and then make my world at 59. But so far, yeah. Okay, I'm starting to ramble a bit. Who, who fucking cares, right? Mm. I'm just going to make this room like it's not massive, just fairly big for the video. Villages. and then once i've carved this out i will move the villages in and i'll probably come back to you okay so this is the uh, space mined out i don't actually think i needed to do it four blocks high i think three blocks high would have been fine if i just left it like this this sort of high because the villager children should still be able to bounce on bed so i don't know what i get it into my head that i needed a four block high room still i've done a four block high room and that's fine you might also have noticed that my pick is like fully restored and that is because uh, I've gone through a second pick now, and as you can see, I've also left it at one durability, just like the other one. So I've got two picks with one durability, but they are there waiting for when I put mended on them. And now I've only got four diamonds left, but it doesn't matter, because I'm sure we will find diamonds at some point. I'm sure we will find some more diamonds. I didn't find it then, mining that out, but I did get one more deep slate, and I got my first gold of the world. That's all right, isn't it? And some more iron, and some more redstone, which I'm not actually using at the moment. I'm going to have to get some more chests soon as well. I need to go into the surface. And have I got saplings in here? I've got saplings. I need to get saplings, and I can get saplings on the go down here. There's something else I've got to do. I've got quite a bit to do. But then I'm going to need to find... Okay, okay. Here's what we do. We shovel this in there. Where's my wood? I definitely have wood, right? So here's some wood. If I put that into here, make some more sticks. Right, we're going to make like a little way, uh, a little two-way gate system. So if I put in gate, we can do... We need four of these bad boys and then fences. How many can we make? Yeah, that's more than enough. Okay, but here's what we do. We put in one, two, three, four on either side. Complete over till... Get rid of that. There we go. We've got a double gate system. So it's basically to stop villagers from getting out. So bang, I open up this. I can close this. And then when I open up this, villagers, even if they push out, can only go this far. Because for some reason, villagers can't open gates. They can open doors, but gates are just beyond them. Which, yeah, beats me. And now let's row them in one at a time. Villager one, villager two, villager three, and villager four. So that's all four villagers within their new home. Although, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to row two of them back out for the trade hall section. Because I do want to get... Let me see where's torches. This bit's a bit dark. I do want to get bread for feed into the villagers. And the best way to do that, if you don't have a massive wheat farm, is by trading bread for the, with the farmers. Of course, I don't want to do the trading while they're in here. Because this is going to be a sign to actually breed in, not for the job site blocks. Because I find once you put job site blocks with the beds, it becomes a bit uh, of a circus. It is complete chaos with the villagers roaming around, getting in the way of each other. No, I want this specifically for breeding. So if I just grab two of these, this guy can go over here. So we'll row them to the other side of the building, other side of the building, other side of the base, other side of the world. This is our world. This is not our base. This is our world. And this is village two. Okay, so we've got both of them over there. I close these 
gate so we can get him out of there and get him out of there. All right, we've got two villagers now roaming through. So now I need to get some beds. You can only sleep during night and thunderstorms. So what's what's the date today? It is the day 17 already. Wow. Okay, let's see what we can grab. I want to go up, but I can only go up at night, obviously, onto the surface. I might just have to wait. Hopefully it's near the end of the day. That would be that'd be really convenient. Okay, so there's the sun. It's still up in the sky. So I'm going to have to do some waiting until it goes down. And once it gets dark, what I'm thinking I'm probably going to do is pillage the village. Right, I want to grab everything I can. It goes hay bales because I know there are hay bales in the village. The chests. I did see some bread, maybe some saplings in there and apples. I want to try and chop down one of the spruce trees. I might do that in the beginning, actually. Chop down one of the spruce trees. If I get if I get a diamond axe, that means I can do it quick. No, but I want to save the diamonds for pickaxes. Okay, I'll get an iron axe because that's going to be quicker than a stone axe then i can just chop down one of the giant spruces get some spruce saplings and then once i've got those spruce saplings i can pillage the village have a look around see what we can get but saplings are a big one because if i can't go back to the surface every 10 days and i run out of wood that's going to be a big problem so i'd like to find an area where i can set up trees ideally i'd like to get into a large cave but again that's that's uh that's for the future we will what am i looking for iron i was in my inventory okay axe there we go we have an iron axe now i'll put that no i'll keep the stone axe on me just in case back up okay it's going down come on as soon as it goes down i'm getting that tree right there that tree right there it's going to be mine get the saplings get the stuff hey we're day 17 day 17. okay it's getting dark let's go Right, let's go, let's go. Let's get this tree ASAP. I haven't actually got a torch on me. All right, it's getting dark quick. There's a spider over there, so mobs are starting to spawn in. Connected to any other tree? No, it's not. I can get these smaller trees as well while I'm here, because these smaller trees are also going to give me saplings. It might just be a quicker way of getting saplings. Hey, there's some saplings already. Right. As long as I've got one or two saplings, I know I will be okay. And I've got four saplings. Okay, let's just run. Let's just see what we can find around the village. Okay, bed. Yep, I want that bed. Take this bed as well. Oh, chest. I'll close these doors while I'm here. Let's see. Okay, bread, apples, potatoes. Yeah, oak sapling, an emerald. I will take that. In fact, I'll take everything. And I'll take the chest itself and the bed. Let's keep good looking. Oh, hay bales. Yep, I'll take these because I'm going to be able to turn this into wheat. And obviously, I can turn wheat into bread. So it's just another form of food for me. Let's see what's in this house. Oh, now that I think about it, I think there's a blast furnace. There is a blast furnace. That's good. We can get ourselves an armor with that and I don't have to spend iron. Composters, I'll grab these. A couple of composters. What else? You know what? I'm actually really surprised there aren't more mobs. In fact, I haven't really seen, apart from that one spider I saw in the, in the corner of the green, I haven't actually seen that many mobs. Like, angry mobs. What have we got around here? Stone cutter. I'll take, actually, while I'm here, what can I make with this? Chiseled deep site. That's cool. Ooh, I can make a lot of stuff. So I can make... Ah, just from one of these, I can make all of this. That's cool. That is really cool. I did not know that. Chiseled, I quite like chiseled deep sake. Okay, I'm going to be taking the stone cutter as well. And I can get masons. And masons are going to help me get more access to blocks as well. Access to more blocks. Uh, yep, take this bed as well. Ah, might as well take these wheat seeds, haven't I? It's just extra stuff. As well as taking this bed. Take that. Thank you very much. Is there another one in this one? Yes, there is. I'll take that. Thank you very much. There's an iron golem. I could definitely kill it. Okay, now we're starting to see some other mobs. But rather than use the door and have them pathfind to me, I'm going to do the smart... Th oh, the door's wide open. There you are. I'll close that. Uh, what can I get rid of? This yellow flower for a bed. Have I been in both of these? I don't think I have. Yes, I have. Oh, you can get out there. I'm taking your bed, mate. What shall we get rid of? This fence block, because I don't need that. I think that's... Is that it? I mean, if I'm on the surface, I might as well do some more harvesting for materials, right? It's not often I'm going to be up here. Let me grab a load more saplings. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, that's good. Really good. How many saplings have we got? 22 saplings. Take care of these. Him taken care of. Oh, baby zombie. Of course. Ah. Hate them so much. The hitboxes are so hard to hit. <laughs> I mean, oh, bit I could just tower up. Why didn't I just tower up onto two blocks? You know what? Ah, uh, what else could I get rid of? I could get rid of a couple of other things. Let me harvest this. I'm gonna harvest another tree, and then I'll probably go back up down underground. 
Okay, so here's a look at what we got. We got quite a few good things. I have some boats in there I should have probably got rid of before I went up top. I just didn't think I was going to fill up my inventory. Okay, so we've got a single emerald, which is negligent. It's not really anything neg negligible. Sorry, it's not really anything I should uh, be excited about. I've got a stone cutter, a couple of composters. Blast furnace was kind of nice because I'll be able to get an armorer, which is going to save some iron on the crafting of that. I've got some beds, eight of them to be exact, so we can get eight villagers over in the breeder. Of course, I'm going to have to take those two over there a bit further away so they won't be assigned to any sort of beds. I got hay bales, I'll be able to make it to hay and uh, hay bales, I'll be able to make it to wheat, sorry, not hay because they're already hay. I'll be able to make it to wheat and bread. I got spruce saplings, that was a big one I wanted. I got 32 of the things as well. So now we're going to be able to get unlimited supply of wood underground. And obviously, I got some more wood, which was good. Yeah, I got some potatoes and some oak saplings and some more wheat seeds. Uh, yeah, it was, it was a pretty good haul. So I'll probably stick most of the stuff in here. Uh, as for the beds, I'm actually going to put them in here now. So I need, I'm going to space them out. It's going to be easy for me to wrap them afterwards. One, two, there we go. I'm going to space them apart by two blocks. Okay, I'd, ideally I'd like this to be one more block wide and I probably will end up doing that. There we go, so that's all the beds placed now. I should be able to get a populace of eight villagers in here and then I need to get some more villagers. I'm going to need to get some more beds before I can get more villagers. But so far, you know, we've made progress in that department. Now, as for the trade hall, I don't know if I'm going to do that just yet. What I think I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go looking for a large cave because if I can get a large cave, I will be able to, let me think, get free farm on the go. I'm going to have to be able to find a large cave, which means just mining in one direction, I think, for a long time. And just so I don't forget, because I am going to want to go back to the surface, I just put a sign here and we're going to say day 27. That's when I can next go up to the surface. So at the moment is now day 18, went up on the night of day 17. So I won't be able to go up until the night of day 27. That's just a reminder because knowing me, I'll probably come back through and be like, ah, I think I went up on uh, day 8. And it's day 18 now, I'll just go up now. No, day 27 or the night of day 27. Maybe I should change that, but night 27 to be more specific. Okay, night 27, so I won't forget. All right, now let's see if I can find a large cave. And I think I will use a, we use an iron pick to be fair for this. So I'm not just burning through my uh, my diamond one. Okay, I found some more diamonds. That was quick. Uh, that was really lucky actually. So if I just do that, let's see if we can grab more of the stuff. I really hope there's like more than just the one. Okay, we've got at least two, that's something. Okay, let's see. One, two, okay, that's two. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a four. That's good. Oh. Oh. Six. Yeah, I'll take that. Six. That's nice. An extra six diamonds. In fact, I can put that with the others, which are in this chest, I think. There we go. We've got four in there. So back up to ten diamonds. So I knew it's not going to be that much of an issue if I do burn through a few diamond picks. Okay, there's lava just above here. So what I think I'm going to do, I put this like there. And I can mine that. There we go. I should just fall straight into here. So it's not going to spread this way. Oh, wow. Okay, there's water. I was not expecting that to happen. Let's let's see. In fact, let me as well. I do that, put that like that. And then, there we go. So that should be segregated to there. Right. Okay, let's have a look. I'm sort of a bit nervous actually going up top like this. We found a cave system. I'll be honest, I'm kind of nervous. Oh, wow, 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 wow. There's a big cave system right above our heads. Oh, wow. Okay. Just stay calm. So this must be why there were no mobs up at the top, because they're all in here. Wow, this is this is actually really, really good find. Oh, fuck. This is such a good find. Keep jumping and running. Ah, this is an amazing find. This is, this is probably one of the best finds I could have found. This is, oh wow, this is huge. This is such a good find. I will just run around, placing torches everywhere. Ah, there's diamond there, but I can't stop at the moment. I've just got to keep running, placing torches. Yep, I can hear them right behind me. I'm just going to ignore them, pretend it's not there. Ah, another creeper, my favorite. Uh, redstone, redstone. I'm going to run out of torches soon, I can tell. Fine, we will just keep going. I didn't think I was going to have to use all these torches straight away. This is brilliant. And we got the lava, which is great for a natural source of light. It's all the steps and the high up places I've got to be careful of as well because reapers especially will drop down. They're like, surprise, motherfucker. They just take you out. And that's not something you want. I'm definitely getting further away from my area. Let me head back. Let me... 
refeed myself. Okay, that's that. Refeed myself and head back. Suiting at me. Okay. Oh, glow squid as well. Good setup. A uh, good amount of stuff in this place. I don't know what's going on behind me. Sounds like there's skeletons fighting. So the thing is, I need more food for this. I've got three pork shops left. I mean, they are really quite satiating, but still, I need more than what I've got. I've got a nine left as well. Torches, six left. Five left. Okay, I'm going to have to head back. This is, wow, what a good find. And how far up does it go? This is a really good find. Now I just need to find where my base is. Where is my base? It was near the water. I think it would be down here. Is this it? Yeah, yeah, this is definitely it. Nice. Head back here, and I can actually create a proper stairway i think that was a really good find that was a fucking tremendous find i am really happy with that i'm really happy oh, i should have got dirt when i was on the surface as well okay i am really happy with that find however i am gonna need to hmm got dirt i have got dirt okay okay a plan is starting to form in my mind i'll be honest i think the next step i think i'm going to make sure these villagers their own trade hall right that's the next step I need to make sure they're at least 50 blocks away from these beds i think that's when they are unassigned from beds we've got one two three four five six seven eight ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventy eighteen nineteen twenty twenty seven twenty eight thirty seven thirty eight thirty nine forty nine fifty okay so this is where the star of the trade hall is going to be here this block onwards probably what i'm going to do is i'm just going to carve out a bit of a i'm going to carve out a tunnel i can take them to and then i'm going to carve out another not a large area but a fairly large no nah, not even a large just the start of a trade hall somewhere i can actually fit these guys into and get them trapped in place so i don't have to worry about them moving and i'm probably going to turn one of them into a fletcher and one of them into a farmer Okay, so this is the trade hall I've decided to make. It's only, oh, don't get underwhelmed by it. it. Its appearance is maybe deceptive, but it's actually going to be the start of something absolutely magical. I can just already tell. I mean, let's have a look. I've got a double date gate system put in, like I did with the, uh, the breeder over there. You can hardly see. There you go, right in the distance there. And what they're going to do, they're going to be in here. As you can see, I've carved out like a little room within the stone. I've been like a sculptor. I've carved out the building I want rather than making it up, which I think is kind of cool. And then I'm going to have one of them be a farmer here he's going to sit in this cubby hole and i'm going to trap him in wham bam with that right there uh, i mean even though i can walk under it villagers can't and then again i'm going to have a fletcher for the other one and he's going to be trapped in there so they are just going to be stood within there and then what i'm going to do is i'm probably going to carve out this area a bit further right well i definitely am by another i don't know probably another two to three blocks and that way let me just carve these out oh, come on come on come on come on that way i can just come on the outside and trade with them while they're stood here facing outwards which is good and that's going to be two of them all already but and as you can see i've only done a small building it can only house up to six villagers but the great thing about this is once they're trapped in their cubby hole i can just expand this to my heart's content i don't have to worry about them ever escaping as long as i don't destroy this block here holding them in and the trap doors i'm going to get them both into place now if i get the first one as you can see i've brought an emerald with me and i've also got let me see if i make these into sticks now because i am going to have one of them be a fletcher and it needs to be a fletcher with a stick trade specifically Right, there we go. If I bring one of them in, I don't know what he's going to become, if he's going to become a farmer or a fletcher. We'll find out. Okay, that's him. Let's close them behind. Let's see what he becomes. Right, he wants to be a farmer, but he's got a wrong trade. So, hmm, i get rid of that. Right, there we go. He's not a farmer. Now he's, he's going to be a farmer again. Okay, nope, that's still not the bread trade. I want either the stick trade for fletcher or bread trade for farmer. There we go. That's what we want. Because the bread, we can feed to the villagers to uh, breed them. Come on, please. Yeah, look at that. Okay, he's trapped. He's trapped. He's now trapped. So we don't have to worry about him. Now it's this guy over here. We're going to turn this guy into a Fletcher because that's the only available job site block left. And I made the Fletcher because I've been picking up gravel, obviously, just mining out, being underground. And some of that gravel's dropped flint. And from the wood we've got from the surface, we're able to make a Fletching table. Pretty simple. Let's see. Does he have the stick trait? He does. And that should be an easy 16 emeralds. Look at that. Lovely. Hopefully he will go into his cubby hole. And if he doesn't, I'm just going to push him and hopefully... No, no, he's, he wants to talk. You know what? It's not really the end of the world because I only need two of them. I don't need him to stand in his hole just yet. I really would... Come on, just get in there, mate. Just get in there. You're going to be spending an eternity in this small space anyway, so you might as well just bite the bullet and get in there. Oh, oh, you want to go... Oh, you're playing it like that, are you? Trying to go into another one? Yeah, that's right. Get in there. Fuck. It was too quick. It was too quick or I was too slow. I don't know which one. Look, he doesn't want to talk to you. Stop trying to talk to him. He doesn't want to talk to you. He wants you to go in your cubby hole for the rest of your life and trade with me to my heart's content. That's what he wants. With your perfect green eyes and your massive nose. Get in there. 
you know what i'm actually going to leave him out because that's what i want to do right so i'm going to leave him out and if he wants to go in there then so be it that's up to him but i'm quite laid back about the whole situation right now that i've got them i can actually now that i've got them now that i think about it bomb bada bomb we can head back over here get to our farmer buy a ton more bread which 32 of them I'm going to keep for myself because I need the food for running around because I've only got two pork choppers left. But the other 64, if we swap them out for the trap doors, the other 64, come on, come on, come on. I'm going to be to these and it turns out they're sleeping. So if I sleep as well, let's speed through the night. There we go. Because it's a 100 days video, I don't need to worry about sleeping, which is quite nice. Now, if I feed these guys straight away, look at them. Look, look at him. He's going to gobble it all up. What a greedy guy. I don't want it back. You take it over there to... The, yeah, that's right. Start breeding. Look at them. Get it on. Get it on. Let me watch. Yeah, intense eye contact. I love it. Come on. Where are you? Where are you? I know you're in here somewhere in that womb. There you are. Right, look at me. It's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. That's life for you. That is the natural cycle of life. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, so now I've got three villagers. That's something. And I've got a village trade hall now set up, ready for expansion. And in fact, you know what? That has bugged me that he's just not doing as he's told. That he should just get in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stake it out. I'm going to camp it because he will want to go in there at some point today. And I can outweigh him. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to outweigh him. <gasps> now, now. You're trapped. You're trapped. Mm. How does it feel that I can walk in and out of here, but you can't? Okay, that's cool. That's him trapped. So now I've got a trade hall with two of them. I've got a village breeder that you can't see the villagers, but now he's got three, blah, 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 three villagers, which is cool. The next thing what I want to do is create a staircase up to... Let me just get rid of some of this stuff. Actually, I'll make another chest. Make another chest. My thoughts seem to be all over the place at the moment. Make another chest. And go down here. I'll put that there. And actually, I will make another chest three but i'll actually make four chests okay and then over here i'm gonna have a couple more chests and you're probably thinking well why are you doing that well one chest is going to be for villager items and the other is going to be for emeralds so i don't know which ones i'm going to have emeralds and which ones uh you know what let's just put emeralds in that one and this one's just gonna be for useful your village stuff so as you can see i've got spruce trap door so i'm going to keep them in there because i need them for i'll put a boats in there as well for transporting villagers but i'm going to keep the spruce trap doors in there because i'm going to need them for trapping future villagers so that's going to be like a village item i have there we go those are just villager items that i'm going to need in the future anyway so this is going to be for like useful village chest useful items for the villagers and this is going to be for trading with the villagers nice one okay so that's a lot of torches placed but i've still got a lot more to do as you can see even though i've placed even more in that direction you can see a creeper there there's still dark spots like that's a bit dark there it's dark over there it's dark here it's dark over there it's dark over there it's dark all around it's it's dark so many places. I'm going to need a lot more torches. It's dark up there. And I also found this. Let me show you something. This over here. Look at this. The deep dark. So I don't know if that means there's an ancient city that way. That would be really cool if there was something to explore at a later date, I think. For now, what I'm going to do is because I have a lot of saplings, I am, and I now have the space for it, I'm actually going to turn some of this area into farmland. I'm just going to place down some trees randomly. I'm just going to put down some dirt and in trees into. I won't actually have enough saplings to get all of them done, but it's enough for the time being. And then I can put these back into getting more sticks and shit. Mostly for trading, this is going to be at the moment. I would like to find melon seeds. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that if I can only go to the I can only go to the surface every 10 nights. What night is it at the moment? In the day 21. Okay, so it's a little stairwell put in. As you can see, the finished product. And here's a, like a little tiny chamber. It's not much. I just want to see if iron golems do spawn here above the villagers. Because I know there are going to be iron golems that spawn in. They're probably actually spawn in this area. Although they haven't actually spawned anything at the moment. So I don't know if that means iron golems can't born below a certain point hmm that would kind of suck if that's the case i'm going to sleep just to get through the night that's going to get me closer to that night time here an iron golem an iron golem up here ah nice so they do spawn that's good to know so that means now we can 
take these guys on. Okay, so that is good. We can spawn iron golems. That is very good to know. That means I could probably create an iron farm. So the best place for creating an iron farm, however, is going to be up here in this cave here. Because let oh, because let's be honest, there's so much space. I could have an iron farm just in the air somewhere. Man, I've got my trees as well. Um, I might call it a day on this episode. We've done quite a bit. We found this large cave. We've got trees growing now. Giant spruces. We found like a bit of the deep dark. We've made this staircase. We've created for ourselves a section for a village breeder with uh, villagers inside as you can see we've got quite a few of them how many have we got now we've got six right seven and we've got five over there and two there we've got seven and a little cat we've created for ourselves like a little small area iron golems to spawn in up here which is working and we've also created for ourselves a little trade hall which we will be expanding big time in the next few weeks i think in the next few weeks in the next few episodes we've got a farmer here he sells us bread and he will sell us food uh we've got a fletcher here that's going to sell sticks for emeralds for sticks that's cool and we can extend it further back and just have loads of villagers in fact we can have an infinite number i can have several of these buildings which i'm really excited about and of course it's what day 22 and the night of day 27 we can actually go up and back onto the surface and try and gather resources but yeah if you can just let me know what you think about the nether and the end i'm pretty sure i will be allowing myself to go into the nether because like i said i do class that sort of like an underground world because it's the underworld the end i'm a bit more unsure about maybe i would just have a time limit in the end maybe that would be a better thing but even then even then i'm, I'm not sure how to go about it because i would like to use shulker boxes and obviously the elytra in this uh, playthrough but we'll see we'll see what you guys think all right anyway thanks for watching